Check it out, big yellow's coming up and we got a bluebird, which is absolutely awesome. Over the last week it's been pretty wet and pretty cold, and this morning it's pretty frosty, so it's pretty white around. But it's gonna be a ripper of a day, finally. My cow tags have arrived too, which is good. So these are the heifers that have come into the herd this year. I've made a bit of a list. And then these are the tag numbers that I need to give them. So the easiest way I've been doing it is just doing a couple of row at the moment. I started yesterday and I'll be probably halfway through. Last year I had the tags before uh, they started calving so I could just do them on the day they carved. When they came in that night and got milked, I just tagged them, which was pretty easy. So I need to do two here, 38 and 58 to right next to each other, which is pretty good. After you put the tag on, you want to make sure that the pin's going to go through the hole like that. Perfect, ready to go. I was a little bit late ordering the tags and then Allflex had a bit of an issue and a backlog and something happened so they're a little bit late getting out but that's no biggie these four cows that we drafted out this morning these are the cows that slipped during the winter so they are off to the works today obviously they're not milking and we've got no room for them so they've got to go it's warming up though the frost here is stored there's still a bit of a frost down there in the in the gully i suppose on the flats but it won't take too long with the sun up like this Just feeding my last lot of calves. We had to send the other gator away to get fixed. Uh, so that was away for about a week. And while that, well, it came back yesterday actually. And when it came back, they bought the new mud guards for this gator. It's an aftermarket mud guard. I think it's not by John Deere. They just sort of bolt on there. And then uh, they just hang there by these bits of uh, not leather, whatever that stuff is. I don't really know. But they work pretty well. Just saves the calf feeder getting covered in uh, muck. The muck used to just flick up onto, onto here and I used to have to clean it all the time, so saves that happening, works pretty well. It's almost 9.30 so these cows won't be too far away from getting picked up. Dad brought them down after he finished milking. And then we've got here, he's just let these go, these are the early carvers. So they were supposed to be due before the 4th or the 4th and before. So there is 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, so there's 9 cows here left. And we're just going to box them up with the lakes now because we're waiting for a sort of a fine day. It's been pretty wet over the last couple of days. So when it was fine, we we're going to box them up together. I've set up a break just here for them. I need to go dust some calls mag. And I might as well let them on, I guess. So that white stuff that I was dusting on, that's magnesium oxide, or we call it cause mag. It's to try and prevent milk fever in the cattle. So it just goes on the leaf of the grass and the cows eat it. And you want to wear gloves while you do it because it dries your hands out. Something shocking if you don't. But it is also in pretty short supply at the moment. So we were trying to get a pallet of magnesium uh, that we use in the drench or mag. And we couldn't. You can only get five bags a week. So... That's due to COVID I guess, but it is what it is, we can't do much about it. 
Truck's just turned up to get these cows. I went and helped Dad. He was doing the heifers, but I had to get that gator. I know there's two calves over in the in the calving cows, so I wanted to, or well, I needed something to put them in, I should say. Right, they're going up top. We need to pick up some off, innit? Oh, yeah. I just want two first. All right. And then they're going with the two up there. Yep. And then I'll put the other two in there, then I've got to pick up another two, then another three, and... Come on, come on, come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. He only wanted one, he's going to box it up with the others. There's some other cows that he picked up before, which leaves three for here. One of them's a little bit loopy, this 121. Nice cow, bit of a shame she, uh, she aborted. That one, just there. Come on, where you go? Where you go, bub? Where you go? Let me know. One at a time. Oh, one at a time. Come on. Come on, up you go. Come on, hop up, 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 Right, we'll go and move these cows now. Come on. They don't really want to come out. You think they would? One, two, three, four, five, six calves. Come on you. Right, so we managed to keep three back. That means there's another three or four in here. There's another one. Looks like that cow there's carb two. Yeah, there might be another one coming back. Two more. Hey? Yeah, 103, yep. Whoa, that turned out to be quite a big uh, quite a big morning actually. So there were seven calves in the paddock, three heifers, four bulls, three more replacements. Brings us up our total up to about 76, I think. So we're not far off being there. We want 80 need to find three more there's one by the look of it I know 103's calved she had one of the bull calves last night come on come on come on I'm struggling to find the last one. Surely it can't be that hard. There's about 120 cows in here now. Oh no, maybe less, maybe 115. That cow there, she might be calving. She's not far away. Just wondering whether we take her too. I'll leave her here. Leave her here. She'll probably carve in a couple of hours now that I said that. I was looking and looking, but I couldn't find the last cow. 
So it happened to be that there's actually seven in the race, so we'd already got it out, which that's fine, perfect. I've probably given them a little bit too much grass here too, but there might be a little bit of fighting going on between those cows that we boxed up, so. Plus we took seven out, so we need to make their break a little bit smaller for tomorrow, but that's no trouble. Go and take these calves up to the shed, spray the navels with a bit of iodine, and breakfast time. This is the gator that went away to get fixed about a week ago. They gave it a real good clean, as you can see. Doesn't usually look like this. But there was some um, bushes in here, uh, just through there, and that one, they went, so they replaced them on both sides. And put some new little mud flaps around here because the, the dirt was, or that had broken off, as you can see, just there. So they sort of put a mud flap in there, which stops the dirt coming through. Uh, a new fuse box in there because the other one uh yeah it just was pretty loose and, and wasn't a real good job so they did that and also put some new mud flaps on the back which should keep it going for a little bit longer it's pretty handy my plan was to use that trailer to get the calves we sort of haven't needed to this year it's been pretty wet so i sort of didn't want to take the trailer in the paddock we've just been doing it with this a few more trips to the calf shed but all in all yeah it's actually quite a good vehicle to to do the carving with with our amount of cows if you had a lot more cows uh trailers obviously the best way to do it but yeah we find these uh gators pretty handy well we've got a bit of an interesting afternoon today i have just been um answering a few questions and we've got emma here because she is taking photos for the dairy exporter some of you might get that uh, in the mail so in a couple of months i might be in it or you might see me in it over the uh might be next month, I don't think. I think it might be the month after, so. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, there was something a little bit different, having the photo taken while I was filming, but pretty cool. I'm not really sure whether it's gonna be in the September or October edition of the Dairy Exporter. If you get it, you'll see me in it. It was pretty much about me making videos for YouTube about dairy farming, so. Uh, it'd be pretty cool to see it. Pick the day. Yesterday it was pretty wet, so lucky that didn't come then. And I put the cows here because I thought they'd want some photos, so it's nice and handy. But I'm gonna go and milk some colostrum, feed some calves, and that'll pretty much do it. So, see you next time.